Facts about Salamander 1. About Salamander A whole class, or scientific order, of amphibians with tails as adults is referred to as salamanders. This applies to amphibians like newts and sirens. The majority of salamanders resemble a hybrid of a lizard and a frog. They resemble frogs in that they have moist, silky skin and lengthy tails. For salamanders that reside on land for the most of the year, the word newt is occasionally used. Salamanders with lungs in addition to gills that never leave the larval stage are typically referred to as sirens. The names Olm, Axolotl, Spring the Lizard, Water Dog, Mud Puppe, Hellbender, Triton, and Congo Eel are also used for salamanders. Few salamander species, which make up the majority, grow to lengths of more over 6 inches. Sirens only have two legs, while the other kinds of salamanders grow four legs as adults with fleshy toes on each foot. For their aquatic existence, some species, like paddle tail newts, have totally webbed feet with extremely short toes. There is absolutely no webbing on the foot of those who enjoy digging and are less aquatic, such the tiger salamander. Salamanders' back legs develop more gradually than their front legs. The opposite is true for frogs and toads, whose back legs develop more swiftly than their front legs. A salamander's belly drags on the ground because all four of its legs are so short. The axolotl pronounced axolotl, a rare salamander from Mexico, can regrow lost limbs and is now a focus of extensive research. The sirens are the only sound that doesn't have legs. They don't even have any hind legs. Sirens can swim like fish by flapping their flat, long, muscular tails from side to side. The salamander order has developed a variety of breathing techniques. To breath underwater, sirens maintain their gills throughout their entire lives. Others lose their gills as they age and develop lungs to breathe air, like the tiger salamander. However, many salamanders lack lungs or gills as adults, such as the arboreal salamander and the California slender salamander. They breathe through their skin and the delicate membranes of their mouth and throat, which is why they are also known as lungless salamanders. 2. Salamander Diets and Habits Salamanders that dwell on land are located in shaded, forested places because they need to be cold and damp to survive. The majority of their time is spent hiding from the sun in caves they have dug in the soggy ground, up in trees, or behind rocks and logs. Before returning to land, some species look for a body of water where they can reproduce and lay their eggs. Others live their entire lives in the water, such as sirens, olms, and axolotls. There are 16 salamanders that live in caves. They have extremely pale skin, significantly smaller eyes, and have developed adaptations to life in total darkness in underground water pools. The Kaiser Spotted Newt defies the usual habitat for amphibians. The Zagros Mountains in western Iran are home to this critically endangered species, commonly known as the Emperor Spotted Newt or Iranian Harlequin Newt. It can be found in streams and ponds that are surrounded by dry scrubland and only have water for three to four months of the year. Kaiser's newts emerge in late March and early April when it starts to rain and the streams and pools fill up. They graze voraciously before looking for a mate. Once summer approaches, they go underground, burrowing into the sandy soil, where they enter a state of torpor during which their respiration and heartbeat drop and they stop eating. Salamanders have some unique defenses against becoming the next meal for a predator. The majority of salamanders have brilliantly colored, venomous skin, like the red spotted newt. Predators are warned by the newt's striking color that it is unsafe to consume. On the back of their necks or on their tails, many salamanders contain glands. A toxic or unpleasant tasting liquid may be secreted by these glands. Even during an attack, Certain salamanders can lose their tail and later regrow it. The rib tips of the rib newt resemble needles. It has the power to contract its muscles in order to cause the rib points to penetrate through its skin and into its adversary, giving it a swift lesson. The native Insantina of California raises its legs high and waves its tail to ward off danger. Although all salamanders are carnivores, they rarely rush to catch their prey. Since salamanders move more slowly than other meat-eating animals, they frequently consume soft-bodied, slow-moving animals like earthworms, slugs, and snails. Fish, crayfish, 
and small animals like mice and shrews may be consumed by larger salamanders. They could approach slowly before making a swift grasp with their razor-sharp teeth. Or they might remain hidden while they wait for a nice food to come within reach. Many salamanders have tongues that can flick out and catch food as it passes by. 3. Conservation The Chinese giant salamander is in grave danger because its body parts are used in traditional Chinese medicine and it is unlawfully poached by people for food. Wetland ecosystems, which are home to newts and salamanders, are still being polluted and destroyed by humans. Don't forget that these amphibians require water to survive. Many salamander populations have decreased as a result of human use of pesticides, filling in their ponds, and rerouting water for our own uses. Currently, more than 70 species are classified as being at critical risk. We must all work to protect the surviving habitats for these unusual animals and create new gardens and parks. 4. Before dinosaurs, the earliest species of salamander existed. Triosurus sixthly was a creature that existed 230 million years ago in the Triassic epoch. The oldest salamander ever found was a Triassic era stem salamander fossil that was found in Kyrgyzstan in 2020. These extinct amphibians demonstrate the salamander's early evolution and shed light on how salamanders differed from other contemporary amphibians like frogs. The first fossils from the Jurassic period were discovered in China prior to the 2020 discovery. 5. More than 245 salamander species can be found in North America. There are more salamander species in North America than in any other region in the world, and there may still be more. The Appalachian Mountains are a salamander diversity hotspot, and the majority of those species are found in the United States. But salamander Chytra disease poses a severe threat to this rich variety. Firebelly newts are an example of an imported salamander used in the pet trade that carries bacteria that can wipe out entire species. By cleaning cage waste with bleach and never releasing pets into the wild, you can stop the spread of the disease. Any ill or dead salamander should be reported. 6. Some species have a growth limit of 5 feet. There are numerous species of giant salamander that are thought to be the largest amphibians in the world, despite the fact that most salamanders are, on average, between 2 and 6 inches long. For example, the near-threatened Japanese giant salamander has been reported to reach lengths of 5 feet, while the even larger Chinese giant salamander, which is endemic to lakes and streams in the Yangtze River Basin, can reach lengths of 6 feet. There are thought to be five different species of giant salamanders, though some may already be extinct. 7. Sirens like hind legs but have gills and lungs. The sirens are a suborder of salamanders. Despite the fact that two species may make vocalizations, they don't try to draw you closer with their songs. They lack hind legs and have eel-like bodies with little, rudimentary front legs. Additionally, they have external gills even as adults, unlike the majority of salamanders. There are sirens everywhere in America. Despite being a species of least concern, they are threatened locally in several places. 8. They are able to regenerate organs and limbs. Unlike mammals, salamanders can replace lost limbs and do not leave scars. Agent species have an impact on this capacity. An elderly land salamander's limb regeneration process can take over a year. In as little as 40 days, a young axolotl can regenerate the same leg. Salamanders can replace damaged cells in their heart, lungs, and brain in addition to their lost limbs. 9. They are lacking vocal cords. There are no voice cords in salamanders. Instead, when threatened, they will snap their jaws or send out sharp exhalations that squeak, click, or create kissing-like noises. They mostly use touch and chemical signals to communicate. Although salamanders don't appear to have the hearing facilities required to hear high-frequency clicks, some study suggests that they may communicate with them. 10. They are keystone species. Salamanders serve as a habitat barometer and a guardian of ecosystem health. As a keystone species, they consume mosquitoes, insects, and other pests like shrews and are frequently the most prevalent predator. Additionally, they provide larger predatory animals with food. 
They create tunnels that aerate the soil for plants, and other species live in those holes. When ecosystem health is declining as a result of pollutants like PCBs and heavy metals, salamander populations act as an early warning system and represent the health of the ecosystem. Researchers are aware of issues before they affect bigger species of both plants and animals, including humans, since they react so quickly to such changes. 11. Humans are their worst enemy. The biggest danger to salamanders worldwide is humans. Around the world, salamander species suffer from pollution of streams, clear-cutting, development, agriculture, and silviculture. Endangered endemic species are threatened by illnesses spread by imported salamanders, such as the sheetrid fungus and bzil. Controlled burning harms other species, including the endangered flatwood salamander. The summer, which is the typical season for forest fires, is when this species buries itself. The salamander and its larvae are naturally above ground in the winter, when managed forests are burned. 